Hi everybody, this is Marco from BIMS International. In this video, you'll see the benefits and features of our enterprise asset, maintenance, facility, and energy management system, BEAM. If you're in the hospital industry, this will reduce maintenance costs and any unplanned breakdowns and downtimes. With the aid of BEAM, you can manage assets like MRIs, x-ray machines, ambulances, heart monitors, and so forth, as well as materials like your screws, bolts, cables, wheels, and so on. Here are some of the operations you can run within your company with the aid of BEAM. To begin, we have our interactive dashboard where you can monitor all your assets like your MRIs, x-ray machines, ambulance, heart monitors, and keep track of their status in an easy to read format by using our configur configurable widgets, which can show them in a very neat and organized picture format. Next, we'll be going into our map feature, which you can pinpoint your different assets like your ambulances or your different facilities in case you do have different hospitals that you are transporting your different assets from. You can pinpoint them on the map feature to know where they'll be heading. Next, we'll be looking at our graphical asset tree. In the graphical asset tree, you have the ability to pinpoint your different assets, like your heart monitors, your MRIs, x-rays within the hospital. And if you hover over them, you have the ability to check upon them and see their status, how they're performing, as well as a uh, green indication indicating that they're doing well, red indicating, obviously, that there's an error. You also have the ability to put a work order or create any work orders that you may need in case there is an issue. You could select that over the asset and quickly put a work order as well as you can filter through your different assets within your facility depending on which assets you want to see in case there are a plethora of assets that you have to go through. Next we'll be looking at our asset tree and here you have the ability to define your different assets and parent assets. For example if you have an ambulance and inside the ambulance you have a heart monitor you can pair those together and that will be done within the graphical asset tree so you can find all your different assets. Next, we'll be looking at our asset pool. So here you have the ability to see your different heart monitor, cables, x-ray machines, MRIs, and so forth. And if you open one up, for example, you have your general information. So you can define your asset, what department it's in, cost center, any operations, as well as you can put any materials of your assets. So all the materials like your gears, fuses, uh, bolts can all be stored within this part. Next, we'll be looking at the legitimate proceedings. So you can upload any insurance information, traffic information, vehicle inspections for your ambulances, and so forth. You can also upload any documentation for your assets that you may need for use, and as well as any pictures of your assets. So if you want to take pictures of all your individual machinery, you can do that to keep track of them in an easy format. Next, we'll be looking at one of our reports. So there's the asset status report, which will automatically build using the Beam software. You just have to input the information, and it will create a report showing you the status of your asset. You can also get automatic reports using the timer feature. So you can click add at the top and receive reports on a hourly, weekly, daily basis uh, just by selecting periodic. And you can include as many users as you want as well as separate it by user groups. So a group of users can receive these reports via email uh, on an automatic basis. So saving you time and obviously being more efficient. Next, we'll be looking at our work requests. So within the maintenance module, you can upload a work request if there's a failure of one of the machines. For example, a heart machine may not be working or um, one of your machineries isn't working. You can upload that, keep track if the production is still going on, as well as include any maintenance priority, whether it's an emergency or it doesn't really need to be seen at the moment. And of course, you have the ability to include an explanation of the machine. Next, once you do upload a work order, it will appear here for the manager to see. And these are a bunch of orders and that show different explanations like failure of an asset or if something went wrong, you can open one up and the manager has the ability to delegate the work order to a different employee in a different department or to a mechanic and write a quick work statement as well as include dates, uh, failure, current state, what the issue may be, any work statements, status codes can all be uploaded here and be sent to a technician. You can also include any used materials for the work order. So whatever may be needed, maybe a battery's broken and so forth, you can include that as well as any services. For example, if you're changing out uh, circuitry, boards, batteries, uh, contractor, painting, so forth, that would all be stored within the services, whether that's a third party vendor, contractor, supplier. And of course, you would keep your cost. And once you do that, you will appear in the calendar where it will keep track of all your different work orders. You can date them back by week, day, month. And you can just hover over them to see how long each work order took. And you could click on them to see the work order in more depth if you so please to do so. Next, we do have our preventative maintenance. Our preventative maintenance allows you to be proactive about your assets to ensure that they last and have a good longevity. Uh, to do that, you just click add at the top. Very simple. And you have the ability to choose either by date 
day, time, week, if you do decide to do so, or you could do by counter. So you could do mileage, temperature, vibrations, whatever you need to perform periodic maintenance, Beam will send you a notification reminding you that it needs maintenance depending on the counter that you decide to choose from. You also have the ability to manage your materials similar to the asset management. So when you do click on materials, you can start with general information. Then you have your warehouse parameters, which include your minimum, safe stock amount, max stock amount, and you would want to keep that stock as well as any vendors that you may have. Uh, you can store them all within here. And any attached doc documents as well as any pictures that you may need for your materials can all be stored. Also, a cool feature about Beam is you can keep track of your incoming and outcoming materials. You can put any voucher number, dates, hours, warehouse, departments, cost centers, and so forth. So you can always keep track of the materials you have and use them efficiently. Next, we have our personnel module, which shows you uh, your different teams, like your maintenance, mechanic teams, and so forth. And if we open one up, you have your general information as well as any personal information you want to store, any training they may have, and you can attach documents for them to be able to see as well as their off days, start hours, end hours, and so forth. Lastly, we have our calendar feature where you can keep track of the different days your different teams are working. For example, your technicians, maintenance team, and so forth on an easy to read calendar. Here are some of our references. For more information, feel free to visit our website or contact us with the email and phone number listed above. Feel free to reach out and ask for a demonstration or set up a meeting anytime. Thank you.